like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Big felt like I'm ready to run. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Boy, Jazzy, Stacy, Luki. All of the Barbies is pretty damn. All of the Barbies is. Hey guys, welcome back to Star TV. On today's lovely episode, we're gonna be talking about how God is always speaking to you through his creation and through the universe. But are you listening? Make sure you guys subscribe to Star TV where you get a new episode every week. Make sure you guys like this video, drop a comment down below, let's start know what you think, and be sure to hit the bell down below and press all so you will be notified each and every time Star posts a new video. Let's get right into it. So number one, your life depends on you paying attention to the signs and the dreams that God gives you. Some things are not coincidental. Some things don't happen by accident, but I believe that everything has a purpose and a reasoning for happening. You guys, I wanna share with you this. As you all know, and as I've broadcasted so many times, one of my favorite singers, the singer Selena, the late singer Selena, before her passing, there were so many signs that I believe God had given her. Like she had a dream and most people don't pay attention to their dreams, but I believe in the book that her husband wrote about her, he mentioned that she had a dream that a white rose was thrown at her. And she didn't like this dream and she didn't even like to talk about it because it disturbed her. So with that being said, she had a feeling that something awful was going to happen. We all know that a white rose represents death. And you know what's so ironic to me is this. On her last concert, right, um, February 1995, um, the Astrodome Houston concert, she was riding in her horse and carriage, you know, saying goodbye to her fans. And all of a sudden, the same dream that she had happened in real life. You know, someone threw a white rose at her and she tried to catch it, but she couldn't. giving her to warn her you know to exercise caution there is death on your path there is death down the road <laughs> This show us why we must pay attention to dreams and to signs that God gives us. Sometimes God will speak through people and sometimes God will speak to us directly through dreams. Let me share something with you guys. Back in the summer of 2021, I was walking my dog outside, it was summertime. I was about 24 or 23 at the moment. And all of a sudden, my dog kept turning around. And I was wondering, as I was walking to my building, why he kept turning around. So I stopped, and I looked behind me, and there was a guy behind me walking. So, you know, he was so far behind me, I said, oh, okay, like, I'm not worried about him. Obviously, he's not following me. Little did I know, he actually was. And even though I didn't catch it, my dog did. So he followed me into my building tried to follow me, you know, into my apartment. But thankfully, I outsmarted him and rerouted him. But what if I was that one person who thought, oh, he's just a dog. He barks at everybody. He looks at everybody. You know, he's just guarding me. No one's worried about me. What if I just would have ignored that universal sign that God gave me? What if I would have ignored God using my dog to save my life? Because a lot of women are not lucky to escape traps and death and, and evil people the way that I did. 
and the way that this young lady did that I'm about to show you. This young lady was in the same situation as me. She was being followed into her apartment and she just escaped by the skin of her teeth. Oh, is terrifying. <laughs> It was just a matter of seconds. He was literally like one second from going inside. Today, this brave woman, still shaking, finding the courage to speak out about that day as she arrived home from work around two in the morning. There was two guys in the two guys like outside, right? And they were just like looking suspicious. You see her walking into the building, cautiously eyeing a man on the side. Seconds later, that same man in the white tank top walks into the Sherman Avenue building behind her. She knew he was up to no good. Miss, miss. He, he followed me inside the building and he said miss, miss twice. She describes the horrifying moment seen in this video as a suspect accesses the lobby. Seconds later, the woman knew he was around the corner and she quickly tried to open her apartment lock. Her instincts spot on. And this is why we cannot ignore the signs that God gives us. Let's get into tip number two. If you continuously see someone's name and you keep meeting people with the same name of a person that you used to know that is god giving you signs through the universe that you need to pray for that person let me give you guys a short backstory so i had this friend and we were super duper 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 close when i tell you that was my home skillet biscuit we were so close like we was like the same person. Um, I don't know, we was just, I've never been so close to somebody ever in my life. And so, you know, things happen and me and this person wasn't close, we parted ways. And it would be so scary because I would go outside and I would see her name on someone's license plate. And then I would see her name on the back of the bus. And then I would meet someone with her name and then I'll be scrolling on social media like on Twitter and I'll see someone with her name. Like everywhere I went, I saw this person's name to the point where I was overly concerned and I felt haunted. So I talked to my pastor about it. My pastor told me, he said, when God is showing you someone's name in this way and everywhere you go, you see their name. God is telling you that this is a person that you must keep in prayer. This is a person that you must pray for. And so I started really, really, really praying for this person. And I told myself, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of terms we're on, whether we're on speaking terms or whether we're not talking. I'm going to pray for this woman because God wants me to do it. So if you ever see someone's name everywhere, just know that that is God pushing you to intercede for that person. I remember, you know, a few weeks before Pop Smoke's death, I kept thinking about him, thinking about him, thinking about him. But what I didn't know was that that was God placing him on my spirit. I kept feeling that something bad was going to happen to him. But I just brushed it off and I kind of, you know, got busy and forgot to pray. And then lo and behold, another member of my church said a few days before Pop passed away, he kept thinking about him. And now we know that that was God speaking to us through our thoughts and through our mind and telling us, you know, pray for my son. There is an attack that is coming against him to end his life prematurely. And because we didn't understand that God was communicating that to us, we didn't pray and the news was tragic. So trust me, sometimes when you think about a person over and over and over again, it is not by coincidence. When you see someone's name everywhere, it is not by coincidence. We have to be very sensitive in the spirit and just know when God is trying to get a message across to us because God can use us to save lives. And one way that you can save a person and the one way you can show a person that you really love them, whether they know or don't know, is to pray for them. So another tip is every day God is speaking to you through his creation. Are you paying attention to the signs and are you noticing it? I know a lot of the times, maybe a lot of you on here probably struggle with, you know, feelings of sorrow or feeling down, feeling anxious, feeling depressed, but you have all these questions and you're trying to figure out why God is not speaking to you. But when you went outside and you saw that dove, 
that was God speaking to you. That was God communicating to you that he is the prince of peace and that the peace of God that transcends and surpasses all understanding is about to enter your heart. You may be going through something so dark and so rough and then you're sitting outside, you know, just relaxing and a butterfly flies on your shoulder. That could be God trying to comfort you and showing you that a new chapter is ahead. Brighter days are ahead. You know, you could be waiting for the train and all of a sudden you look across the street and you see a woman in a beautiful wedding dress getting in a limousine. That's a sign that soon it will be your turn. Soon God will open up beautiful marital doors for you. And that's why it's so important that we celebrate people and be happy for other people because we serve a big God. If he could do it for him and her, he can also do it for you. There are so many signs that the universe you know, will give us. We just have to be attentive and sensitive in order to understand. Before I started this channel, you guys, Star TV, I mean, I would get a lot of people who would tell me, you know what? I love your personality. You know, one day you're going to be famous. I could definitely see you being famous. And it's not that being famous is a goal, but I'm like, you know what? I always wanted to be on TV. You know, I would always try and act and I would never get chosen for acting roles and you know, on certain acting auditions. So I say, you know what, forget that. I'm going to start my own television show. It's going to be called Star TV. I'm going to be the star of my TV show and I'm going to be a TV personality. And, you know, here I am, my own YouTube channel. Started from zero subscribers, now 1,040 something. And though that's not the biggest, that's growth. You know, 1,000 people that enjoy this channel that's rocking with me, that's growth. So we can never ignore the signs that God gives us. He will speak through people and he will also, you know, just keep us on the right track. Let's get into the last and final tip. Don't be one of those passive people who think and believe that everything is a coincidence. This is how you can lose your life before your time. This is how you can miss out on the biggest blessing of your life. This is how you can remain stagnant in life. This is how, when God speaks to you, you won't be able to notice the signs or see and hear him because you think that everything is a coincidence. Sometimes that God that been walking with you for five blocks straight, sometimes he's not going in your direction. Sometimes that guy really is following you. Sometimes that person who you have a bad feeling about, right? You're not just insecure and crazy and, and defensive and, and guarded. Sometimes that person really is a bad person. We have to stop putting things past people, places, and things and take it for what it is. We can't be passive. Be very observant in this life. We're living in such a wicked and cruel world, y'all. You got to be very observant. Sometimes you have to think the worst and be prepared for the worst, but also stay prayed up and use wisdom. For now on, I want all of you to look at things from a very spiritual perspective. I remember there's a certain person that I know um, and I'm actually related to it. Before this person was shot, they said that a pigeon had flew in their car and it was very odd because that had never happened before. And now we know, you know, many years later, looking back, that God was trying to warn this person that trouble was on the horizon. Trouble was pursuing them, but they didn't know. They didn't know. They had no idea, but that was a sign. God sent pigeons to warn him, you know, and I'm thankful that that person is alive today. But like I said, you guys, don't ignore the signs that God in the universe gives you. Your life could depend on it. Stay prayed up. Stay alert, stay sensitive, stay guided, and stay pure. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.